Uh, uh, okay, let me get under the... Get me back now. Uh, Alright. Okay, I think I'm done. Uh. Yeah, I still smell it a little. Yeah, hopefully I don't run into anyone in a while. Stupid PJ just had to go stick his willy out and piss on me. Ugh, what a stupid mutton. Do you two want some more tea? <laughs> what the? <laughs> Was that who I thought it was? <gasps> Come on now, answer the question for mommy. No, I don't want any more tea. I'm full. Yeah, I uh, think I'm okay. Well, let me change the trajectory of the question. Will you drink more tea? Or will I have to force it? Wait, Mrs. Longlegs, please! It's mommy. <laughs> if I'll be, it's Lady Longlegs. She's completely lost her marbles. What's she doing to little candy cat and Bobby? Is someone disrupting our playtime? <laughs> Run along now, kittens. Mommy has some business to attend to. I'm sure you'll find someone else to play with. I gotta get out of here. Ooh, Crazy lady definitely ain't heard me. Just gotta keep quiet. I wonder if anyone happens to be in this box. <laughs> no, no one's in here. It's just, 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 just nothing. Wait, really? No one's in there? Nope, nothing's in this box. You can leave now, please. Oh, well, I guess if no one's in the box, I guess I'll just leave. Shoo. <laughs> Hi there, Huggy. It's been a while since I last saw you. Uh, how you doing, Lady Longlegs? Ugh. Your arm's wrapped rather tight around my neck, is it? Well, that is by design, I suppose. <sighs> you smell a little funny. What have you been up to? Nothing. I'm just trying out a new cologne. Do you like it? No, it smells weird. Could you please let me down now, love? Why did you say no one was in the box? Do you not want to see Mommy? Well, I kind of thought you were stupider than you actually were, and I didn't think you'd actually check the box, and it almost worked. Oh, I mean, no! I love being around you, lady. It's just, I was uh, testing your wits to make sure you still had a brain up in between your hairs. I suppose that's good enough for me. <sighs> oh, Huggy, I remember the old days where we used to be best friends. What happened to that? Ugh, I got caught up in me romances. Things change, long legs. People change, you know. Sometimes things just drift apart. Plus, you're quite the right whack job in that being around you. What was that last part? Uh, me missus is quite the whack job, you see. And uh, you know how girls don't like their mans being around other girls and such. And, you know, one thing turned to another. I had to cut off contact. It's darn not unfortunate. I loved being around you. Oh, I didn't think Kissy was one to do things like that, but I suppose a girl's a girl. Whew, I can't be as sarcastic around her. Well, you remember we weren't just a duo down in those adventures, right? We still had one more member that liked to join us. Hey, you're right. What about Boxy Boo? Where's he been up to lately? You know where he's been? Why, of course I do. Come out here, sweetheart. Ugh, he got, uh, a bit bigger since I last saw him. Hi, Boxy. You've got a bit of a monstrous head on your shoulders now, don't you? <laughs> yes, well, I trained him to be Mommy's little pet. He's very good at hunting for food. Jeez, was I really the glue holding this balanced friendship together? Man, that's sad. Especially for me. Boxy's my own personal little helper now. 
He gets everything I want for me. This is making me uncomfortable. Well, that's great. It's nice seeing you too. Listen, I'm a very busy man with a very busy schedule. Uh. <laughs> Huggy, you're too kind. <coughs> yeah, whatever. Take it to your grave, toots. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm a very busy man with a very busy schedule. I appreciate your presence, I think. But I'll be bidding you two adieu. Have a nice life, I suppose. Ugh, bunch of freakazoids. Boxy. Could you be a doll and bring Huggy right back here for me? I have a couple unspoken words with him. <laughs> okay, all right. Get off me, you pleaser and moron! Okay, wait, maybe don't eat my head, please. <clears throat> what? Mommy knows a liar when she sees one. What have you been up to, Huggy? Something's changed. I can see it in your eyes. Listen, me and the missus are going through a bit of a rough patch at the moment. It's just kind of taking priority in my life, you know, like a good boyfriend would do. Right? It's more than that. Tell mommy. What's been troubling you? <sighs> There's a human here. A human? In this factory? Yes, the beans have been spilled. Now, can you let me go, please? A new human in the factory? That hasn't been here for a very, very long time. What could he possibly want? Look, apparently he's here looking for his co-workers or something. He's taking a log into the kid. What kid? Oh, you know the one. Ludwig's little brat. I don't even know why. Everyone around this factory thinks she's a nuisance. She was always pampered by the big man. Ugh. Always disgusted me. does he see her? I don't know. Guardian? Caretaker? What have you? I don't really feel like a sibling thing. It's like more like a father-daughter relationship. It's weird. Alright. Ludwig designed that brat to be brain dead till the day she keeled over and died. It's a damn shame, really. She never grew up and she never will. Oh, this is perfect! This is not the response I was expecting. What are you hiding, Mrs. Longlegs? That's none of your business, sweetie. Uh, what happened to you? You got creepy written all over you. Doesn't sound a lot like you. You were motherly, but now it's more possessive, I think. You are free to leave now, Huggy. I no longer need you. Wait, what makes you think you've got authority over me? Would you like to find out? Yeah, maybe not. That's what I thought. Run along now, little child. Wait, I'll have you know I'm older than you. Hey! Ugh, whatever. Can't rely on anyone in this damn factory anymore. Now, Boxy Boo, I have a very important mission for you. Find the child and the human. Bring them to me. And just maybe you'll get a special little reward. That's the spirit boy. Now go. I'll be patiently waiting. Bring home the bacon, sweetie. <laughs>
Seems pretty plain to me. I mean, the light blue floors are nice. Because of this! Man, it's still here! Is that a ball pit? I didn't know we had a ball pit. I didn't either, but one time I was exploring and I found it! Yay! Whee! <laughs> I bet you won't be able to find me, Rich! Uh... Hey, kid? Huh. Come on, play along. Oh, I wonder where Poppy could be. She's got to be somewhere around here. Is she under this ball? Aw, oh, dang it. I got it wrong. <laughs> oh, woe is me. I'm never going to find her. Oh, sigh, Kissy. I suppose we'll just have to leave her be. Let's grab my grab pack and go. I suppose the kid's a lost cause. <laughs> no! Whoa, hey, kid. Whoa, I was just kidding. I was making a joke. I knew you were still in there. Please don't leave, Rich. I'm not gonna leave, kid. Just just calm down. I knew Ludwig messed her up, but... Oof, she's got attachment issues. This does seem a pretty nice place to float. <sighs> be careful, Kissy. If you go too far in, we might not be able to find you. Rich almost lost me. I think you may have permanently ruined this ball pit for her. <laughs> Oops. Look, kid, uh, sorry about the ball pit. Uh, how about I make it up to you? <laughs> how? Uh, I'm sure there's a little trinket I can find around here somewhere you can play with. Uh, how about I go find that, and you two stay here and chill, and I'll come back, and it'll be a little surprise. It's like a rich leaves for around five minutes to find a cool thing, comes back, and then there you go. Are you sure you're going to be okay on your own? Nah, I'll make it work. I got around here myself once, I can do it again. Okay, Rich, don't take too long! I'll be back faster than you can spell whatchamacallit. Uh, okay! Um, W... E... We're gonna be here a while. That's not right, love. It's not? Um, W... A... No, not either. Hmm. Anything over here? Ooh! Here's some stuff under this rubble. Is this a weird broken jack in the box? Huh. Ooh! Aww. Cute little squeaky elephant. I think they get it like this. A little dirty, but eh. I'm sure that ball pit is filled with dust. Weird jack in the box thing. Nah, whatever. Surely this will cheer the kid up. Huh? What was that? Huh. I don't see nothing. Weird. Okay. Who's trying to screw with me? Is it you, Huggy? One of those little asshole toys that keeps bullying Poppy? I'm a grown adult man, this stuff don't work on me. You might as well just come out and say what you gotta say. You don't gotta give me this whole tragic expose about your backstory because if it's not shorter than 30 seconds, I'm gonna start falling asleep. Oh, he's... I can't think of a thing to say. A L L Come on, yes, Poppy, you've got it. I D Did I do it? <sighs> You know what? Close enough. You did it, Bobby. Yippee! Ah! Oh, here comes Rich now. Why is it screaming? <gasps> is this a toy you got me? <coughs> oh, he's so cute. Thank you, Rich. I love him. Rich, why were you screaming? <laughs> I have a giant jack-in-the-box thing with red arms and it's just it's, it's, it's screamed at me and oh, God, I can feel its breath. What are you peppering on about? Get me out of here! 
<laughs> oh, hi, Boxy. It's been a bit since I last seen you. Kid, normally I love your naivety, but th this is not a good time. <laughs> My noodle arms don't help in this scenario. <laughs> Why are you so slippery right now? <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, Boxy. Why is he hesitating? He's a little bit different than when I last saw him, but he's still the same silly boxy I always knew. Yeah, okay, the kid kind of has a point. I don't know why Boxy's acting like this. A lot more monstrous than usual. I guess it has been a while since I last saw him. Maybe he's just trying some new material. Boxy, tell me a joke. <laughs> Come on, Boxy. Just one joke. Let me think of one. I can't believe this is working right now. Knock, knock. Who's there? Shirley. Shirley who? Shirley, you must know who I am by now. Serious right now? Serious? Come on, Boxy's never serious. If he used to just be silly, I I'm just wondering what the hell happened to him to make him like this. I don't know, Rich. It's a great question. See, you're still funny, Boxy. Thanks, Poppy. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> do you still want to be friends? Of course, Boxy. When did we ever stop being friends? <laughs> that may be one of the fastest conflicts we've ever solved. Welcome to this factory, Rich. Everyone's twisted in a little way. <sighs> oh god, come on, Kissy. Let's get you out of there. Woo! Hiya, Boxy. I believe we started off on the wrong foot. My name's Rich. Nice to meet you. I'm Boxy, bro. Yeah, you are, pal. How you been, Boxy? Kissy, I missed you. I miss you too. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. Things have just been so different for so long. Hey, man, it's alright. No hard feelings. Who did this to you, Boxy? Uh, I'd rather not say. Hmm. Alright. That's on you, pal. Okay. Boxy, leave now. Thank you, guys. Boxy, go write more jokes. Bye, Boxy! <sighs> he was always pretty nice. Hey, I think my grab pack's finally charged. You guys ready to get out of here? Yeah, okay. Here's the elephant toy, by the way, Poppy. Yay! Elephant! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay.